What's up guys? Um, today is August 6th, I believe, Thursday. Um, a lot has happened. Noah is now one year, one year old and he's learned a lot of new skills. Look at him now. So about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, he took his first steps. Um, he was brave enough to take his first step. And then two weeks ago, he started taking um, more steps, like walking from uh, Maggie and I. So basically what we do is we'll sit across from each other and then have him just practice walking around. And then now he's able to like walk everywhere. Um, he's able to, and I think, when was it? Sunday? Right after his birthday, the next, no, Monday, it was Monday. He was about to get up on his own. Yeah, he was able to get up on his own now. So like that was the only thing that was keeping him from really roaming around. So because whenever he was on the floor, he, he didn't know how to like stand yeah, up without support. Fall. And now, He's strong enough to get up himself. No, show everybody. Show everybody, buddy. Show everybody. Show us. Yeah. Look at that. Bam. 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 <laughs> so also we came. We had Noah's one year um, appointment. His one year checkup. Um, everything was fine. Um, doctor said weight's grown average. Um, he's in the 75th percentile for height. He's somewhat pretty tall for now for for his age but it doesn't that doesn't really mean anything until like later on but um as long as he's healthy yeah as long as he's healthy he's he's pretty healthy right now um everything seems good he has three shots yay say hi say hi <laughs> so this is what pretty much um recently this week uh what we're doing with him at home we're just really watching him play everywhere um since he's able to roam around more now and um, so about the last week, sleeping for Noah was a bit tough. He was waking up every, he was teething um, right here, his premolars, and he just kept waking up every night. I mean, he still wakes up now, but it's just not the same because he was just waking up crying. And recently we've been, um, what is that called, baby? Cold sleep, not cold sleeping, but we've been um, share sleeping? Bed sharing. Bed sharing, that's what it was. We've been bed sharing. Um, meaning that he'll wake up and then like instead of just having him cry for hours We would just kind of like put him on the bed and he'll sleep with us from like three no, to like six you know I put the books in there? <laughs> He's like everywhere now like he just want to like go around grabbing things which is kind of cool because It's expected to see kids um, around this age really just tossing things pulling things so um He's it's been really nice to watch Um, This is the ball pit that Chuck my cousin Chuck and Linda they got for Noah and right now he doesn't really sit in there yet. He just grabs the balls and he kind of like dips out But he doesn't want to like sit in there and play yet because he's not really at the age where he knows what's going on in there But he's love. He loves reading. He loves flipping the pages. Look at that Flip the page for mama. Thank you. That's pretty cool Nine happy fish. Oh, okay Eight tiny fish. And also eating habits so Eating habits, he's been actually showing more interest with eating solid food. Um, however, it's still not the best compared to like the other kids. So one thing that Maggie and I, to be honest, we've been stressing about is that we've been kind of comparing him to like kids his age, but we kind of told ourselves to kind of just let it rock and not um, hold high expectations, meaning like we stop comparing him to like other kids around his age. Just really let him go through these stages himself naturally. Um, just really enjoy the moment. Just because whenever we have high expectations and we don't meet it, we kind of stress too much about it. And um, that's one thing we're learning to kind of like back up on and not just really get caught up in. I know it's hard because um, if you're a parent, um, if you're a person with high expectations, you'll understand. But um, it's just something that we're working on trying to like really like back away from. Um, if you guys notice, we've been also playing Mom, in his room much more yeah, because for a while we were downstairs playing um, and also in our room because it was like, more open for him. But now, he's, since he's able to roam around, we wanted him in an area where there's like less things, which is like his room. Yeah, it's just more safe in here. Yeah, it's like more, less corners here pretty much. We, we have like a big mirror in our room, so we're just trying to keep him here, hang out. But uh, he has fun just really walking back and forth. That's what he does now, and he gets a kick out of it. We put the baby gate up. Yep, we put the baby gate up. Let me, show, let me show you guys the baby gate because he's starting to walk now, so we gotta, you know, we gotta rock with it. So we got this, Maggie got this on Amazon. It's pretty cool, see? So this is the one where it's from tension, so pressure tension, so we don't have to drill a hole in the wall. Um, our staircase is a little bit kind of awkward because um, this one, it's... It's not round, but it kind of gets in the way, but we found a way to make it work. However, we just gotta 
um, be very careful because we don't want to like trip over this. Um, but it's not bad, honestly. I feel like this model was great, the one that Maggie picked out because there are many different um, options. So basically, if you want to drill a hole in your wall, you can. This one, you could put this for the banister. If you have another wall, it would just be um, just these pressure points. But it works. Um, we haven't let, because we do want to let him kind of walk around here more. So we're going to stop it. Um, so we're, this is why we got this here. Just to let him chill a little bit more. But it's crazy because sometimes we come in here and we're like, wow. You know, Noah doesn't really play in here anymore. Because, you know, he kind of like grew out of it. Um, just really, we're, kind of, we're kind of moving his toys over here too. And we're going to move this upstairs to the attic. Also, with Noah's um, napping schedule, it's it varies. Um, just because last week when he was teething, what happened, baby? He, he was only sleeping once or he didn't want to be put down at all. Yeah, I mean, like, it was hard. Like, he wouldn't want to nap. Um, but then, with the, within the last two days, he actually took, like, two naps. Yeah, longer naps. Longer naps, too. So, basically, back then, he'll wake up around 6, 7, and then by, like, 10 o'clock, he needs a nap. But now, he's getting older, and he's actually able to last, stay up a little bit longer now. So, like, he'll probably fall asleep around, like, 11.30, if lucky, right? So, he's up for, like, two and a half, no, two hours today, which is long for him. But uh, we're hoping he'll kind of fall asleep again around maybe like 3, yeah. 30. But we highly doubt it because he slept for so long. Yeah. But that's fine too because if you think about it, he woke up at 1. And then if he stayed up for like 6 hours, 7, it'll be like 8 o'clock. He'll get tired, go to sleep. And then he'll wake up at 6 again. So pretty much every morning. Um, 6 or 7. Yeah. He wakes up around 3. Uh, Maggie really helps um, take care of him around that time. Just because when I'm in deep sleep, I'm pretty much knocked out and then come six o'clock it's my shift and then um come nine o'clock we, we're back on it together so it's all about teamwork guys um you just got everyone's gonna have their own different schedule you're just gonna have to work figure it out yourself um we're still trying to figure it out um it's funny because like just because he slept two naps we're like oh my god he's back to normal just because he slept at eight o'clock because there were a few nights last week where he slept like at 9 30 10. um it wasn't the fact that we didn't try to put him to sleep like we'll put him to sleep around eight, but then he would just up for crying for an hour. And I said to we, we we decided that it's kind of pointless to kind of put him to sleep because he was just miserable. And then what happened was it made us miserable. It made us stressed out. Yeah, so now we just kinda of chill with him till like nine and then he's pretty much yeah. tired. So well, instead of three days has been eight o'clock. Yeah. But that's because he's been up longer. So one thing we did decide is that instead of stressing about it, we just kinda of like went with the flow. Um, which is sometimes it works you better um, again some people might be age. frowning upon us with what we do but again um i believe there's no right or wrong it's i just think whatever works best for you like yeah. some people can stand you know letting their kids cry for like three hours you know with boogers and snots i mean there were times when he was puking like literally yeah. puking on the floor and and it's just you know it's just unnecessary because like to prove a point like you know you might want to let him cry it out but then at the end of the day He's crying for two hours, he throws up, we're changing the sheets, wiping the floors, giving him a bath, and then we end up holding him anyway. So we're like, why do we put ourselves through that, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, he's been okay. Um, Can't complain right now. He really likes slipping. You don't want mama to read it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to grab it? Okay. All right, guys, 4.47 right now. Noah was a little bit tired before. We did try to put him down for a nap, but um, he fell asleep in my arms, but he did not. Every time I put him back on his, in his crib, he was kind of like crying, so we decided to just keep him up because it was already like almost four o'clock. So um, Maggie's now feeding him some Greek yogurt. So this is not the fat-free one because um, the last time Maggie bought the fat-free one like a while back, uh, but then we read that he does need some of that fat. Um, so... He does need his essentials mm -hmm. just like anybody he needs the else. Whole milk. Yeah, he needs the whole milk fats um, protein. So we did switch it up this time and we're actually cutting out um, one one feeding of 
formula because right now he should be drinking whole milk but the doctor said that we can actually just finish it up uh, whatever formula we have and then just switch him to whole milk um, he should be drinking whole milk and eating more um, more solid so we're trying to really introduce him to different stuff um, he does like his yogurt um, not as much as yeah not as much as the the, the yummy one ones. yeah the sugary one this guy's smart um and also we do uh, like we did give him a kanji which is like um asian porridge he ate that um so again his eating is getting better but it's not the best um it can be better so we're just really being patient and just really really taking our time um one thing we did notice is that whenever he eats well whenever we eat he kind of really absorbs us and he actually he's more open-minded to try it when we when we're eating it so like for example we, we usually feed him first and then we eat when we put him down to bed but we actually we just spoke about it like literally right now and we said that uh, we do we should be eating around him so that he'll try new things because he'll see us eating the same stuff right so I'm actually planning to make some um, Hong Kong style pasta. <laughs> now we're gonna make some um, Hong Kong style um, pasta, just so that he can. Wait, it's not Hong Kong style pasta. It's macaroni, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, soup macaroni, <laughs> right, Noah? And then hopefully he'll eat. The doctor did say he should be using the um, utensils on his own now, just for more practice. <laughs> so we're gonna practice. Are you okay? All right, 512, we're about to go outside for a nice family walk just because it's not humid outside. Noah just finished and we actually got um, delivery. We got mail. Oh. It's for Noah, we don't know what it is. Nowadays, we don't even know what, what comes in the mail anymore. Yeah. We have so many. We literally just threw out like tons of boxes. Noah, somebody sent you a gift. It says for Noah? Yep. Oh, wow, somebody sent you a gift, Bubba. Whoa. Whoa! All right, we're going out as a family. Noah, you ready? You ready to go outside? You gonna ready. Play with, you gonna play with your toes? Me, my foot is ready. It is super nice outside right now. Nice and breezy. If anyone wants to go outside. Fun? <laughs> I can't see. Yeah, he's having fun. So, the good thing about this stroller, it's super light. And compact. And compact. Look at that. Just leave it in the car. Yeah. It's so nice. It feels like summer's over, guys. Hopefully, Labor Day will be nice like this. No, don't I feel so skinny, guys. My gains are gone. Maggie's calling me skinny boy now. <laughs> that's messed up. That's not what you call someone that's on a vegan diet. <laughs> Skinnyboy.com. This is Noah's hangout spot right here. Watching his TV, his favorite show. Little baby bum. Right? So, this is pretty much what we do every day. We just pretty much hang out with Noah JJ. This guy hangs out, play with him. He's actually more playful now because he's able to roam around. Um, pretty much that's it. Pretty much we're gonna hang out with him a little bit more. And then Maggie's gonna, well we're gonna actually put him to bed hopefully he'll sleep he's been up since one o'clock i'm pretty sure he's gonna sleep tonight look at those cheeks <laughs> but yeah so pretty much once we're done putting him to bed uh maggie and i will probably uh watch something together recently we've been watching on um we've been watching a lot of jersey shore um we caught up like all three seasons so we're on season three right now having a blast it's a lot of drama we love it it's the best <laughs> but um yeah that's this from the shower house. Pretty much every day is pretty much the same. Um, the only difference is that every other day, every week, Noah kind of changes his skill so he gets better at walking or he's able to turn. Like right now, he's turning with just his pivot foot. But, you know, pretty much we're gonna try our best to vlog more and update you guys to see what's going on because I know um, it's been so hard just because when you're taking care of Noah, when you're working, it's just, it's so much easier to say you're gonna vlog than to vlog. So we're gonna try to have little snippets here and there. But that's it from us tonight. We will see you guys next time. Say bye, Noah. Bye.